हेलो को आइज आई होप यू आर फाइन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी लर्न द ट्रिपल एस रूल एंड द एस एस रूल एंड वी अंडरस्टूड हाउ ए एस एस और एस एस ए डजेंट एग्जिस्ट बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल प्रूव दैट एस एस ए रूल होल्ड लेट्स डू इट विद दिस मॉडल सो फर्स्टली वी टेक द टू राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल्स टू राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल्स मीन्स दैट दिस इज द बेस एंड दिस इज द प्रोपेंडिकुलर एंड दिस इज द हाइपोटेनियस द एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू साइड मस्ट बी नाइंटी so here you can see the angle found between these two sides is 90 so now it formed a right angle triangle similarly i made a right angle triangle over there so i fixed it at 90 so i fixed it at 90 now it is also a right angle triangle so students now we are checking how ssa rule or rhs rule helps to find the congruent triangle so here you can see it is a right angle triangle we are fixing these two sides one is 15 and here is also 15 cm so one side is equal in these two triangles and it is a right angle triangle then their hypotenuse must be equal this hypotenuse is equal to this hypotenuse here i can show you it is 23.5 and so here i can show you it is also 23.5 so one side of this triangle is equal to one side of this triangle their hypotenuse are also equal then we say that these two triangles are congruent by rhs rhs mean right angle these are the right angle triangles and hypotenuse are equal and one side either its base or perpendicular equal to the another triangle then we say that these two triangles are equal you can say that side side angle or rhs rule helps to find the congruent triangle how ssa this side is equal to this side this hypotenuse is equal to this hypotenuse that side is equal to that side so ss and this angle is equal to this angle so guys we can conclude that this is perfect for checking the congruency of two triangles but the condition is that it must be right angle triangle and its hypotenuse is equal to the hypotenuse of another triangle and their one side must be equal then we say that these two triangles are congruent so now we proved that these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts are also equal so if we can prove this angle is equal to this angle so simply we can say by cpct cpct means corresponding parts of congruent triangles we already proved these triangles are congruent then this angle is equal to this angle here we can say that bac is equal to def something like that so i hope you understood it